Hello, this video demonstrates the laboratory proof of Kirchhoff's current law, KCL, in a DC circuit and the inability of proving the same in AC circuit with RMS values. Moving iron meters are used for the demonstration. Capital letters are representing the DC value or magnitude of the root mean square RMS value of AC. Refer DC circuit shown in the display at the 12 volts node IS1 2.5 ampere and IS2 5 ampere or incident currents, source currents, I1 1.5 ampere, I2 2 ampere, I3 4 ampere or load currents that is outgoing currents. Based on KCL the current balance is shown in the display IS1 plus IS2 equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 equal to 7.5 ampere. Laboratory setup for proving KCL in DC circuit is displayed. Five moving iron meters are used for measuring the two incident currents IS1 and IS2 and the three load currents I1, I2 and I3. The values are displayed and the current balance based on KCL is shown in the display which is equal to 7.5 ampere as we discussed earlier with the DC circuit. KCL is valid for complex addition of currents at a AC circuit node. Theoretically the complex values of currents at a AC circuit node can be as adjusted for RMS value balance at this node to prove KCL but it is invalid and practically not possible. See the display of a node in AC circuits. There are two incident currents and three outgoing currents. All are complex values. Small letters are used for representing complex values. Capital letters are for RMS value as shown in the display. ACL is valid for complex addition only as shown in the display. The RMS value of instant current are added which is equal to 6.3 ampere whereas the RMS value of I1, I2, I3 added equal to 7.5 ampere. Therefore, the sum of instant currents are not equal to the sum of outgoing currents. KCL failed with RMS value. Thank you.